in the soundness of their mind that they could understand and then hear the word of God and say, I want this gospel. I want Christ. I don't want to go and to stand before this judge. He's not there now as your Savior upon this earth while you are in your health and strength. He can be your Savior, and He is the Savior of sinners. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. And if He's going to save, He is the Savior. He is the Savior. He does all the saving. We all do the sinning. We're the ones that ain't God. God loves us. Don't want us to be in that awful place that is called hell, the great white throne. But my think of the two choices that we can make. Said earlier, the week that there are only two places. There's a heaven to gain. There's a hell to shut. The people are going to be in heaven. People are going to be in hell. And it's all because of a choice. Let me tell you, God does not send not one person to hell. You choose to go there. And God really is only honoring the choice that you make. Those that are in heaven tonight and those people that are in the community that you know are saved, what did they do in their life? They had made a choice that they wanted Christ as their own personal Savior. They did not want to have to be in a lost eternity. They chose for Christ. And they cried out like that jailer that we have been hearing about. Sirs, what must I do to be saved? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved was the answer that was given and he chose and he chose for Christ he chose that their sin would be forgiven but then there are others and so many I'm thinking you know at the time that the Lord Jesus Christ was upon the cross dying upon the cross with nails in his hands and his feet. And people were saying, away with him. We will not have this man to reign over us. He said, crucify him. Crucify him. They did not want him. They made a choice. And you know the many of those that rejected them are in eternity. Some relented really after and accepted Christ when he found out that yes, he is the Son of God. He is the Savior. He made a choice, accepted Christ, but the main multitude is in hell. And they're there because they had chosen to be there. He said, I don't choose to go to a lost eternity. My friend, I tell you, by the authority of God's Word, that if you don't choose for Christ, if you don't accept Christ as your Savior, even into the solid of your mind or within your soul, you can't be neutral. You must choose. There's one person, and we say it like this, so many years ago, there was a preacher who said, turn or burn. My friend hell is real. It's a real place. Real people are there suffering through the countless ages of eternity. My friend, tonight as this meeting comes to a close we have told you of three days. We have told you a day of death that is coming to each and every one of us. 
I think you have a day of salvation that can come to your house. You can be saved, but then there is also a day of judgment, and that is coming. It's real. Consider these things tonight. It's a reality of this is that we're going to head into eternity. We're to meet God. He doesn't want us to meet us in our sin. He wants to meet us as a Savior. The choice is yours. The choice is mine. Shall we pray? Our Father.